Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Wheel crew mode. That is right. So, um, obviously, so we are playing against Manchester City in the first game of the episode. So, they're obviously a quality team, going to be, uh, very much a, uh, solid challenge to play against them. But, uh, I do have some confidence that we'll be able to get things, uh, done in style. We but yeah, let's look at the team, 424, uh, satisfied with the team, so uh, let's just get into this match against Man City. So, I want to talk basically how it's basically a pain to actually uh, simulate all the way up to this point. So in terms of recording wise, I think what I'm going to do is I will basically play both games in the episode, I will spin the wheel after uh, each game, and then what I will do is go along and apply the effects after because to put it simply it takes about 15 minutes to go back there and obviously I don't have all the time in the world to actually go and record so to just put, play the two games is basically allows me to record much more in terms of episode wise all right so we move into the Premier League match versus Manchester City so obviously it's gonna be a tough game uh, we do have an incredible squad so Obviously, George Best is a 90 in, um, foot. Uh, I just made the mistake of putting his age as 32, which therefore meant his stats would be going down. So, yeah, I'm going to put his stats basically as the same, but I'm going to lower his age just to ensure the stats don't go down. But yeah, regardless, uh, taking a look at the two lineups. So, firstly, we're going to be taking a look up at the lineup of ourselves, Newcastle United, so oh, Hamas goes into the right wing position, uh, and then George Best is going to be the, I think, left striker. We've got a lot of great options off the bench, so I'm confident with the players. Man City, so they're lining up in a 4-3-3, so bravo in goal, surprisingly. Uh, Gail Clichy, Fernandinho Fernando, seems like a waste of talent, and Gabriel Jesus. I would love to use Gabriel Jesus, the guy... It's just a stunning player, so. Oh, De Bruyne. Great tackle. Jeez, that's a bad first touch. Casemiro. Casemiro! Oh, what a goal! Casemiro, the brilliant strike! And just six minutes in, Casemiro! Brilliance personified. What a passing play there. Brilliant. I believe that's George Best on his debut. And a great finish into the far corner from the Brazilian man, Casemiro. Best. Oh, bravo! Terrible goalkeeping! And it's George Best who takes in the goal on his debut. We are two goals to the good. And Georgie Best shows why he is the best with a great finish from pretty much about two feet out of the goal. So, maybe not as great of a finish as I said it was, but solid enough. And yeah, 2 nothing. We are just running rampant on Manchester City. And there we go, it's halftime, so 2 nothing up. Pretty solid, uh, I'd have to say. Uh, very much enjoying Hamas at uh, right wing. He's pretty good with uh, George Best. I mean, I love George Weah, man, but George Best just has electric dribbling. Oh my, oh, oh, come on. Come on, it's headed, Casemiro, it's three, and Casemiro wins the header on the far post, it is three nothing, absolute destruction of Manchester City, they have not been in the game at all, they have gotten close, not used their chances, and we are just battering them, what a cross to the back post though, uh, no chance for Bravo in all fairness, that was just a brilliant header. And yeah, 3-0 up, we are indeed. 
And there we go, 3 nothing, a uh, clean sweep, a great victory over Manchester City. And yeah, it is time for us to spin the Wheel of Victory. So now we're going to spin the Wheel of Victory after our convincing win over Manchester City. So what are we going to be able to do now? So we're going to be able to go along and steal player from the previous match. So I'm thinking uh, I'm going to steal um, Nicholas Otamendi, actually. We need some center back depth. So Otamendi will do a great job of providing that. This is the team very tired but I think the key is we need to get an early goal or two and then we're likely gonna sit back because the scheduling is horrific like we're almost lucky that we're gonna be simulating the uh, thing before the next Champions League game because holy jeez like alright so second game of the episode versus Everton so obviously we got very lucky in the wheel of the draw and uh, good start well there but Facing Everton, solid team. Uh, faced Chelsea on the weekend, pretty much got flattened there, but still a good team of good quality. Uh, in all honesty, I think they actually have a hope in terms of getting into the top six consistently, because Arsenal are an absolute mess. In all honesty, um, I seriously doubt they'll be able to even make Europa League with uh, Wenger as their manager. But talking about Everton's lineup, so they have Barkley, Lukaku, Morales up top. Uh, they're playing a 4-2-3-1. I swear literally every single team in this game plays a 4-2-3-1. It's kind of annoying. And yeah, our team, so a uh, bunch of changes. 4-2-4 still, but Griezmann, Ibra, Rodriguez all coming on for this game. Uh, and yeah, even George Best is on the bench, but uh, he'll be a late game substitution. And now it's Morales. We just played Morales off the post! Oh no, we've conceded! Oh jeez, horrible start early on. And yeah, without the legends, uh, kinda mediocre. And that's half time, okay, we gotta make substitutions. We gotta make a triple substitution. There we go, those are the changes. Uh, changing up the lineup, bringing in some, uh, star power in terms of legends, so. Hopefully we can wake the heck up and uh, actually pull out a decent result. Okay, good challenge. It's headed, Griezmann! Griezmann! Oh, it's an own goal! And Paolo Maldini is gonna take credit. It's a brilliant cross, and was that an own goal by any chance? I uh, do not know what happened there, but extremely pleased to get that goal. So it was sent in to Maldini. Maldini whips it in, and... Oh, it's it's actually an own goal. Yeah, okay. Um, Not great, but... Oh, wait, it's counting as Maldini's goal. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, so that goal would have went in. Okay, what a cross there. And uh, we forced a goal from it. Coutinho, what a ball. FFS, Coutinho. Best, 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 best. It's best, it's George Best, it's George Best, we've done it! 93rd minute, and George Best! has stunned Everton. It's two goals in the last 10 minutes. Oh yes, what a finish, George Best. I wasn't expecting that to go in. Really good finish there. I thought there was no way, but that is like a absolutely perfect finish. And it's 90th minute insanity as we managed to stun Everton and come back this was a way more satisfying victory than the one over Man City. This was a real struggle. And there we go, that's it. We have managed to confirm the 2-1 victory over Everton. Again, we deserved it. But, thank goodness, we were really good there. Oh man, just, just relief. Just absolute relief. And yeah, 
um, solid performance and back-to-back -back victories yet again. And great form, and we are going to spin the wheel of victory now. Alright, so we're going to go along, we're going to be able to, oh, yet again, we're going to steal player from the previous match, so, uh, yeah, in terms of a player from Everton, I am going to go along and choose Ashley Williams. So, basically what I've done in short is uh, really just ensuring that we are able to really have defensive depth in the scenario that one or two players get injured because it is very likely that one of our center backs is going to get injured at some point at the rest of the series so to have two quality center backs waiting in reserve is a very good idea very good win great way to end off as we manage to get back-to-back -back victories thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys later peace